welcome to my channel guys to everything welcome to my channel guys to everything so you're going to learn how to use Fidelity bank app for your all banking transactions so you're going to learn how to use Fidelity bank app for all your banking transactions so for you to to first of all for you even know how to download the app we have to first of all tell you all that you need to know about the Fidelity bank app for your transactions so for you to do once you have downloaded this i will go to be how you can download the app but like before you download the app you have to understand what the benefits of free tip online banking one is that you can use to do what what they said you know self transfer without token response so you can do a self transfer without you putting your token that's number one number two is that you can do fund transfer to fleet and other bank you can use that Fidelity uh, bank application, Fidelity bank app, app to do what to do for transfer to Fidelity bank and to other banks, other banks like First Bank, GT Bank, you know Diamond Bank and all that, you know. So you can use the app to do these transfers. Another thing you can use the Fidelity bank mobile app to do is that you can also use to do what to do foreign currency transfer. You can use the app to do what to do foreign currency transfer. Another thing is that you can use that to do what to pay for what to purchase airtime. You can use the app to do what to purchase for airtime. You can also use that to pay what to pay bills, ESTVP, you know, PSCN, airpiece, hoteler, merchant, remitter, billers, and all that. So you can use the app to do all this with the app without going to the bank. Just sit in the comfort of your for comfort of your home, pay your ESTVP, your Go TV, your Star Time, and pay for your PSCN, your airpiece, you know, if you want to if you're traveling. We have teller payment and merchants and uh, other things you can do. You can also use the do bulk payments up to up to one one thousand official at a go. You know, ID for salary and vendors. In case you have you are, want to pay salary of your workers, so you can use that to do a source of pay salary of workers without run up and down to the bank to go and or from one bank to the other to go and pay to go and pay salary of your workers. So you can also you can also to go as as much as one thousand beneficiaries on the go without running head as scattered to banks. So you can use that to be able to pay salary of your workers. You can upload your own profile display picture and so much and so and so on. So you can save beneficiaries. So you don't need to type their no, so you don't need to type their account number again or type in their name for you to for them to get you know credit from you. So next one is that you can also manage transition limits. You know, if the app can also help you to manage your, your transition limits. You can also view your account summary from the app. You can sum up how much you have, how much have you transacted, how much have you paid on your account. Also, that can help. You can also use to do account management, saving you time and energy. So you can also help to manage your account that you run to the bank to do to do one or the other. So you can also download your account statement, you know, in the variety formats you want, in PDF, in Word, and all that. So you can download your statement from the app with that running head task center. You can also set up multiple authorization level workflow on Fidelity Corporate Online Bank. So you can put the workflow authorizing the bank to pay so 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 person so so person without any any user intervention. Once it's set up on the bank, once you have already given them that ma mandate, it can be done without you going to the bank to do. You know. So for these are the benefits of this online banking, and which also has to do the app that you need to you can get so. Like we said, if you can make transfer to whoever and whatever, safe and rule, stay safe and secure, and all that. So, that's what the, the online backend app does for you as a fidelity, you know, banker. So, for you to get the app, this app, I mentioned you have, you have heard all the things that can be done. So, for you to do it, so let's see how you can get it done. First of all, you have to download what you find the, the, the app, download the app. You log into the app with your username and password. If you don't have username and password, you have to can create create the app, app, create your username and password. You, you go to settings, select activate flash key. Once you activate the flash key, that is the first one. You have to download the app. Number two, you have to log into the app with your username and password. If you don't have username and password, you can create one. I'll show you how to create one. So you go straight to settings and select at, at, activate flash key. So enable flash key or set as the first key. So enable to set as the first key. So enter and save your banking username. And flash key set setup is complete. Now you can have to transact now. No tap on the icon on your keyboard. 
select send cash option and put your online bank and password select the regional bank and save the regional bank. input amount to the transfer input your pin or token send to russia and see how easy it is now so if you want to do that all you have to do is tap the, the icon on, on your on your phone on your desktop or your keyboard you know then select your send cash option you know input your online Back and pass so select beneficial bank and save beneficial input amount to the transfer and input your pin or token and send. So congrats, that's how that's the way to go. So so if you that's how to go about it. For you so for us to tell the app, I'll put the description of the app on, on this uh, 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 video description below so you can be able to download the app on your own. So you want to put the app on the uh, on this uh, video. So for you to download this app, you just go to Google Play to download it. Here is the app on Google Play for the online banking. So I'm going to put the, the link on the description box below for you to have access to the app. And once you have downloaded, once you download the app, so you see the icon. So the main thing now is that once you tap it, you see this icon will display where to make it afterwards to log in, put your username, and put your password. If you already created your username and password before, if you have not done that, all you have to do is just come here. See this place down here? Are you with me? Come to down here. Say sign up here. So, very important. Just click on this sign up. You put your username, put your password, and your email, and you sign up. So, once you sign up, you confirm your email, and you will have to log in into this place. Once you are logged in here, the next step will be for you to, to you see something like this. Once you are logged in, you see something like this. You see your accounts, transfer, airtime, B payment, setting. So if you like, I put your 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 image here. So if you want to account, you just check the transfer you want to do, B payment want to pay airtime, whatever you want to do, you just particular interface here, this menu here to do whatever you want to do. And you are good to go. So these are the ways you can you can do them. So you can transfer money to anybody. You know, you will have just using Fidelity Bank or personal the Fidelity Bank, and it will be sent to you. I also do research, you know, research, can select the network, select the from which network to use. I also have somebody put the amount, put the phone number, and confirm a charge. And you will also receive uh, the person that the charge can. I believe this tutorial is helpful. If it's helpful, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any question or comments, just use the comment box below to make your comments. And if you have any question, do not forget to you know ask us your questions through the comment box below. And also, if you want, if you if you like the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Use the red button below to subscribe to the channel. We want to appreciate you for coming to the channel to come and watch our video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.